What's going on guys, Chad Beck with you, and today is going to be upgrade day on this beast, the Monoprice Maker Select V2. I have all of my stabilization parts ready, got all the hardware, got the steel rods, got uh, new carriage plate, glass, everything, so let's get to work and let's uh, see what this entails. Alright, so I have the old plate off and I was just kind of going through everything here and inspecting things and tightening things up. Um, you know, you can see some things like that switch there is out of alignment a little bit. Um, this here this gear was not tightened all the way. I'm not sure how tight this has to be. I did notice a lot of twisting whenever the plate would go back and forth, so I tightened it up really tight, and I'll probably ask for some help on that on the forum to see if that's correct. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the new plate on like that with all the old bolts. Alright, so I have the new undercarriage installed and the spring cups, which the bread the bed is compressed all the way down and the springs are nice and straight. That should definitely help out with leveling. Um, I did not add any other washers or anything like that that are in some of the older videos because you can see that the red there, there's already a fiber washer and then there's an M3 lock nut on top of there. So everything feels good and stout with that for right now and I've got it all the way down and compressed. So now going to go ahead and put all of the z-axis braces and frame parts on here and we'll see how that goes okay so I got the gantry back on and I am working in the back starting with the back leveling feet I am uh, replacing the old bolts with uh, M3 by 10 and they are working really well so we'll be right back all right so we got the first bracket on the top all the bottom all the way to the top here now I printed the three nut variety and I'll show you how to put all that together um, I cut my 5 16th inch quarter rod to 17 inches and it all fits together. Uh, you'll want to kind of pre-assemble all of this here together before you actually put it on to mount and this down here as well. So I'm gonna take out all these screws and then I will show you how to put that together. Okay, so we're gonna grab our bottom piece here and our rod and our nylock nut and that is going to go into the bottom of our part there <clears throat> hold that in there it'll fall out and then we're going to grab with one of our screws here and we're going to stick a nut in there And we're going to start. Oh, oh, drop it. All right, let's try that again. We're going to start screwing this nut here on the rod, and we'll slip this through and just hold it upside down, spin it down a while, and then. Keep a hold of the bottom with that nylock nut and get your rod in there. You'll see it right there coming out of the bottom, going into it. Let's 
screw that back down. Now that's one fully tight mechanism. Now we're going to take our top piece and double check the orientation which way these are going to be the rod is going to be coming up it's going to be coming up at an angle like that so we're going to take a nut and screw it down about four to five inches and we're going to drop one of these on there Then we're going to position it like that. And put a nut on this end. This is the end that I cut, so it's a little tougher to get on there. Get the thread started. All right. There we go. And now we're going to take the other piece. Oh, actually, I did that wrong. Sorry. I'm going to drop this piece on here first. Then insert the nut. And then you can come up there with that and just catch it and screw it down. So there is our entire piece. Now we're just going to put it up here on the machine. Okay, so everything is all put together and assembled. And right now I am leveling the Z act the X axis with the bed using a carpenter's level. And basically what you do is adjust both of these until both of your bars here are good. Now how I start checking them is I basically just take a piece of paper to see if I can get that behind there. And then a thinner piece of paper to see if I can sneak it in between there, which I can't. When you start out you're going to be able to get the paper between one side or the other. I'm not going to touch mine now because everything is good. I'm just going to tighten everything up. And now this thing is completely together and rock solid. Now I just need to level the Z-axis and the bed. So let's uh, fire it up and set up for that. Okay, so I just went through the normal bed leveling process. Everything looks good back in there with the spring holders and stuff. The unit feels really super stout and stable now. I added glass as well, and I raised my Z-axis up two notches. So if I do a home Z, Everything comes back to right where it needs to. No scraping, nothing like that at all. Get down here, and check out the gap. I mean, it's right where you need to be. So, the only thing left to do now is to fire this puppy up, run a test and let's hope for the best all right so i've went through and leveled uh basically with the, the paper just going it turn by turn by turn by turn to bring the bed all the way up and then i always start with a thicker sheet of paper and then finish with the thin piece where it's just pulling on it now I added the glass and it seems like the surface is a lot, uh, oh I don't know, it seems like the surface is a lot smoother and is also a lot uh, 
well, level. As you can see, there's the first layer of the Benchy printing. And I've got a nice smush going on everywhere. So I guess we'll just see how this turns out in a few hours. Alright, so I'm not going to lie, but this uh, is the second attempt at the 3D Benchy. The first one really didn't turn out that good. I needed to adjust uh, some more settings, but after all the modifications, this one really turned out great. I mean, all the overhangs and everything look really good. There's just a few minor defects. A little bit uh, of adhesion issue there. The window there is a little, little, little messed up. But overall, it has surpassed my results, my expectations, that is and I'm gonna take some pictures and put those on the Facebook group and see what everybody thinks and come back with some more videos on the tuning procedures and stuff that I actually performed after I did the modifications so thanks for sticking with me and we'll talk to you guys later